Okay then. Trying to make uh, Robin Hood and William Tell proud, I guess. I was kind of pushing my luck with that one. Uh, about seven yards, 10 yards with a uh, hickory self bow shooting off the knuckle, tomato off on the head of the pumpkin. So let's go have a look. There we go. All right. Going a little, little William Tell action there. Taking the hat off from the proverbial head of the pumpkin. Let's have a look and see what we did. That'll be all right. And as you can see, the pumpkin is okay. Go. Alrighty, we're gonna try some uh, kind of, I guess, bodkin points. I don't know, I'm sure somebody will correct me, but some blunt points. Uh, shooting a hickory self bow here. No sights, shooting off the knuckle. Uh, stay tuned in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, so going to see what they do to this pumpkin, one of the smaller pumpkins left over from the garden this year. So, all right, I get two bodkins. We'll see what we can't do. Right around 10 yards. Here we go. And that's why we have two. Let's see how she punched through there. It's kind of cool, actually. You can see what I'm talking about by a bodkin point. And that actually, those blunt points actually put a kind of a neat <clears throat> rather large hole through. I don't know if you can see what we're talking about here. All right, not too bad. Do two more shots. All right, so what we're shooting is a hickory self bow. And uh, get my cameraman to walk around here. I was standing back at, uh, as you can see, there's some decent penetration there. Uh, this is a, a pretty solid pumpkin that we got from the garden. Just kind of commandeered some foam here. Uh, we had something shipped in it recently, so it worked out pretty good to get the pumpkins up off. So, yeah. Hey everybody, uh, welcome again. Uh, welcome back to the picnic table from the Maniac Guy up here in the beautiful state of Maine. It's a uh, cool kind of October fall day, a little damp, a little rainy, but uh, foliage is in full swing and that's exactly how we love it. What we're talking about today is something that I really enjoy and it is traditional archery. And when I say traditional, I do mean traditional. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the shooting sequences and I gotta tell you, you know, if you do modern archery, you might look at that and say, oh man, he shot the tomato. Oh, good for him. He was 10 yards away and he hit a tomato. Uh, I got to tell you right now, uh, it's pretty tough because, uh, well, we'll get into it. But bottom line is, this is a hickory self bow. It's made out of one solid piece of hickory. Uh, it is right now roughly about a 45 pound bow. I can actually adjust that. And I'll, I'll go through some of the stuff I use here when I shoot this. Uh, I can adjust that basically uh, by this right here. This is called a 
Flemish twist. And this is animal sinew, by the way. Um, I don't use wax or anything on it. I do in a way. I use beeswax. There's two pieces of sinew that run the length of this. This is my string. So basically what I'm, what I'm doing here to adjust any, any poundage up or down is I twist. I, I unstring the bow and I twist and that gives me my various poundage. Uh, so when I say it's about 45 pounds, that's, a, that's an estimate. It's about 45 pounds though. Uh, I could put this to a, to a, a poundage you know, meter and, and, and test it that way, but really a lot of these self bows, as you can see as well, there's no sights on this bow. So when you're shooting, you're quite literally shooting from the knuckle. And the arrow rides right there. That's your arrow riser. So really getting back to the basics on this, getting back to the to the beginning root. So the arrow is made, I'm sorry, the bow is made of one solid piece of hickory hewn down. Uh, I did not make this myself. It was handmade though. And uh, someday I'd like to make one of these myself. Uh, the arrows, as we saw earlier, these are the uh, blunt tips that we have. Uh, these are actually, these arrows, which are kind of obviously a very important part of this whole thing, these are also called self-arrows. Uh, as you see, there's no plastic knocks on these. These are dyed turkey feathers. These are dipped, uh, handmade arrows. And a friend of mine actually made these. And uh, these are actually, these. all these arrows are made of ash. So these are all ash arrows. And these self knocks, everything on them. This is a completely instinctive shooting bow, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it can be inherently a lot more accurate than a traditional bow as far as getting shots off quickly. Uh, the theory is if you can point at something, nobody taught you how to do that. So it's the same idea with this. So this is my self bow. Uh, this, this is my quiver that I carry out with my arrows. Again, handmade quiver. We've got some different stuff going on here. We've got some blue jay feathers uh, that I found uh, from a kill out in the woods. No, I did not kill it. I wouldn't kill such a beautiful creature uh, as a blue jay, but uh, probably a bobcat or something got after it. And speaking of which, now here's some turkey feathers uh, here. So crow feathers. And we've just got things. This is from a bobcat. I've got some... Uh, ornamentation on this these are just from different animals I've hunted you know crow this is from a grouse this is actually the first rough grouse I ever shot partridge as a as a youngster uh, coyote that's a coyote claw ask my cameraman real quick can you see that okay so we got a coyote claw some different claws from the crows so to me uh, and this is actually, I forgot my knife back in the house, but this is actually a knife goes in this typically when I have this out in the woods. So for me, this is uh, very much not just shooting. Uh, this is very much uh, everything here means something as I go out. And it's kind of a way to get it back to the roots. So the arm bracer, definitely want that when you're shooting these. And three-fingered Damascus glove. Uh, this is actually... Uh, a company out of Alaska made this. This is made of elk and this is Cordoba leather. All natural stuff here. This isn't so much all natural. Uh, this is just something that I found works really good at <laughs> what I'm shooting. So little work love. So anyway, so that's my kit that I've got that I go out with. Um, this is my self bow. I used to have a compound bow and uh, I used to be into that whole thing, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it felt an awful lot like, and no offense to you if you're a compound bow shooter and hunter, but it felt an awful lot like shooting uh, a rifle to me, which I love shooting rifles. I'm a big firearms enthusiast. I just, I kind of went through a progression where I got back into early, early muzzle loading and, and that, and uh, started learning the finer points of Kentucky windage and things. And uh, that just kind of led me back to this, and a friend of mine turned me on to it. And I'm going to be honest, I love it. Uh, if you've ever thought of it, I would definitely recommend it. So this is the Hickory Self Bow. Uh, this is what I shoot for archery. And uh, until next time, have a good one. So take care. Okay, so just really quick to show you guys the whole bow, the whole self bow here. Thought I'd do a really quick insert into the video. Ah. And I'm actually the one doing this. So I'm sure that my son would be kind of bummed out at how shaky I may or may not be, but 
this is the whole bow and uh, as you can see it's didn't really fit into the other part of the video I'm thinking we're gonna put this in in the beginning of the video I don't know you'll see it whenever we edit it in there so yeah this is the uh, this is the whole bow it stands quite quite high when it's unstrung it's unstrung right now and also I just want to clarify the effective range on this I'm not a very skilled uh, bowman uh, the effective range on this I've had this out as far as shooting up in the air and coming down onto a large target you're talking maybe well for me uh, easy 80 hundred yards it's gonna go down range but uh, as far as accurately and ethically shooting I'm about a 30 to 35 yard guy uh, on a say for me a deer sized target so but if I'm shooting at something like say a squirrel with one of those uh, blunt heads that I that I showed you guys or if I'm shooting at something like say a tomato off the top of a uh, pumpkin that I'm trying not to hit I'd say about 10 to 12 yards is right where I'm comfortable so all right I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick